So in this problem, the pth, qth, and rth term of a harmonic progression are given. So they have the value a, b, and c respectively. We need to determine the value of the given expression. So let us begin. First, what we'll do, we will consider an arithmetic progression. So let the first term and the common difference of an arithmetic progression, let's say, be defined as a in uppercase and d in uppercase as well. Now what we'll know? So let's keep it aside. The reason we're choosing arithmetic progression because we know that if uh, a sequence is in harmonic progression, then it's reciprocal. That means the ter reciprocal of each of the terms forms an arithmetic progression. Okay, fine. Now in a problem, it is given that the pth term of the harmonic progression, the pth term of the harmonic progression has a value a, which immediately means that the pth term of that same corresponding arithmetic progression that's going to be the reciprocal of the pth term of the harmonic progression. Now what's the pth term of an arithmetic progression? Because we have the information regarding the first term and the common difference, so we have a plus p minus 1 times the common difference d. So this will be equals to 1 over a. Let's label this as equation number 1. Then we are provided with the qth term. It's given that the qth term of the harmonic progression so this is has a value or equals to p this means that the qth term of the arithmetic progression will be simply the reciprocal of the qth term of the harmonic progression so that's one over b now we can define the qth term of the arithmetic progression as a plus q minus one times the common difference d so this will be one over b now let this be number two Similarly, using the same logic, we are given the rth term. So the rth term, let's write it down, the rth term of the harmonic progression. So that's given as equivalent to C. So this means that we have A plus R minus 1 times D will be equals to 1 over C. So let this be equation number 3. Now what we'll do, we'll try to use equation 1, 2 and 3. And from here, uh, we will try to find out the value of the given expression. So in the first term, we need Q minus R in the numerator. So what we'll do, we'll take equation number, let's take equation number 2, and from it, we're going to subtract equation number 3. Fine. So we are going to get, so here, A plus Q minus 1 times D equals to 1 over B. So this is equation number 2, and we have equation number 3, so that's A plus R minus 1 times D equals to 1 over C. So let's perform the subtraction. So A and A cancels out. So we have Q minus 1 times D minus R minus 1 times D. So this gives us Q minus R times the common difference D. And then we have C minus B divided by BC. Now since we need Q minus R, now let's do one thing. Let's divide both sides with D. So we have Q minus R equals to C minus B over BC times D. And clearly we need an A in the denominator. So what we'll do, we're going to divide both sides with A. So this gives us a relation Q minus R over A. So this will be equals to C minus B over A, B, C and times the common difference D. Similarly, what we can do, I'm going to state the values. We're going to do 3 minus 1. So that's going to give us R minus P or B will be equals to, we're going to get A minus C divided by a b c times the common difference d and then if we do 1 minus 2 then we're going to get p minus q over c this will be equals to b minus a divided by a b c times the common difference d now what we'll do we'll substitute these three values in each of the terms so we're going to get c minus b over a b c times d Add it to A minus C over A, B, C times D. And then we have B minus A divided by A, B, C times D. So let's take 1 over A, B, C times the common difference D as the common factor. So this will get multiplied to C minus B plus A minus C plus B minus A. So negative B, positive B, positive C, negative C, A and negative A all gets cancelled out and that leaves us with a value 0. So that means the value of this particular expression that's going to be equals to 0. So this is the final value.